Hello everybody watching this video, my name is Jasper and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 Remake. In the last episode, we went ahead and got depressed for the third or fourth episode in a row. However, everybody it decided it would be hey. our streak at right now. Anybody out there? Barrett, thank God somebody else is alive. Okay, that's not a long list at this point to be honest. Yeah, Barrett, please come here. here. And push. Yep, alright, we got it, yep. The one of like four people alive at this point. It's not. It's not a long list. It's not a long list at all. Oh God. Yeah, that don't look good. Barry, where you at, buddy? You sounded all right when you called. I'm guessing you're still all right, right? Right, please. Marlene. 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 At least you're alive. All right. He made it. Marlene. Jesse! God damn it! God damn you! God damn you all! Of course, just starting the episode makes me cry. All right then. Oh. It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before it was Shinra that pulled the trigger to death. Am I right? Barrett. Marlene's fine. Huh? Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. What the hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. And she did. You sure? Hey, where are you going? <sighs> All right, then. That's lovely. That's perfect. Exactly how I wanted to go ahead and start this. Beautiful, wonderful, phenomenal. That is exactly what I wanted to happen. Okay, words of hope. Hopefully, you know, it's actually. I don't even. I don't even know what I want to say. Oh, God. Hello. How could this happen? I didn't really think that. Oh, God. Yeah, you didn't really think what? On? Oh, God. Alright, well, are we in Sector 6? Are we in Wall Market or are we somewhere else? Are we Sector um, 8? Which sec well, Sector 5? Was that the one where Aerith was from? So we're in sector six, I'm guessing, because I think they're saying Wall Market. This looks like Wall Market, yeah. I said, where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the sector five slums. And that's where Marlene is. Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it. I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Hey Tifa, know anything about ancients? 
I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. <sighs> Oh god, he's actually seeing a Sephiroth too. Oh god. You have failed again, I see. Nothing. Let's go. I like how they haven't like sat him aside yet and said like, um, I'm shocked Tifa hasn't sat him aside yet and been like, listen, you have to tell me exactly what's going on right now with all these things and crazy stuff that you've been going through or whatnot. Uh, yo, let me talk to you real quick. Ain't running right now. Oh, okay. Well, I was just gonna say, would you like give me some any words of encouragement or something like that? No, apparently not. Over there. Over where? The, uh, Shinra guards. What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. Mm. Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. Let's go ahead and continue to try to push through here as quickly as possible to go ahead and get back to Sector 5. Because Sector 5 is a decent trip away. Oh, this is open now. Okay, that's great. Um, oh! Well, this is a fine mess. How bad is it here? Compared to Sector 7, we're doing fine. But that's hardly an accomplishment. All right then. Well, fair enough. All right. Well, continue to push through this. Yeah, there is no such thing. Yeah, Biggs too. They were both in bad shape, but Wedge wasn't up there with them. He got out. Are you sure? Oh God, I don't even know about Wedge. Yeah, they don't even know about. Oh God, no. Come on now. There's no need to be afraid. We're all scared. Oh, oh God, no! Thinking, we gotta go find the others. Huh? If we don't look for them, who will? Uh, right. Hey, Cloud, I'm gonna need your help with it too. Right. Are you sure they're even alive? To be honest, I I sincerely doubt that any of them are alive at this point, because there ain't no way in the world they're surviving. That. There, there's no way, right? There's legit no way they could survive that. I could not possibly imagine a, the way of them surviving that. That would be ridiculous for them to be able to do I don't. I don't know. Let's just make it through back to Sector 5. You guys can go ahead and see My Sector 5. Yeah, it was it was rough, to say the least. Alright, do the entrance five, one. Right. So where is this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on, then. Pick up the pace. We're running as fast as, as I can. As you are. What is this? What's going on here? What's going on in here? Hello? Did a plate really fall? Oh, okay, the weapon's vendor. No, they're just watching the news somewhere. Where are they watching the news at? Oh, up there. What? Well, okay, I'm a little stupid, but you know what? That's alright. Um, just let's get back through here real quick. I need to sit down for a moment and take a breather because, my lord, a lot was just dropped on us. And a lot is still. Oh, god. Why does this make me? Why does this game make me feel so much? Why? Why'd you have to tear out my heart like this? But I'm a little hopeful now that maybe, maybe there might be some chance that they're still alive. I sincerely doubt it, but let's hope to God that somehow they're alive. Okay, I can't talk to any of them right now. Understandably, I guess. Um, but up through sector five again. Come on, y'all. I know where the house is. I know where the flowers are and stuff like that. Um, Jesus, I don't even know what to think right now, to be completely honest. There's still so... Like, I'm still... 
I still haven't been able to process everything that's actually like legitimately happened in this game, stuff like that. Even over days and days and stuff house. like that. Marlene! Marlene! Barrett, slow down. They might not be in the. Oh, you're just busting into a random person's house. That's great. That's lovely. Sorry, mom. Person. Where's Marlene? Is she here? Barrett. <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Uh, uh, Marlene. She's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a She's pink dress today. She's sleeping upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. Uh. I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Thank you. <laughs> I know you're not. Don't wake her. Oh, well, thank you, though. Let me Maybe talk to you. Maybe you should join your friend upstairs. All right, then. All right. Well, you don't have to tell me twice, I guess. All right, come on, Cloud. Let's make our way up. Marlene, my baby. Thank God. Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> Because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. <sighs> About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But, he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? 
Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Coming! <laughs> no! Go away! <laughs> You know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <clears throat> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home. Once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her too, I don't know if I could... If I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. Well then, alright, that's great, that's lovely, perfect, oh my goodness, alright, yeah. I didn't need to do any talking this episode, it just all did it for me this episode, great, lovely, oh god, no. My heart, my feelings, my tears, that's what, four or five in a row, I don't know, it's too many to count at this point, my god, alright, I know it's a little bit of a shorter episode, but come on, can y'all blame me, oh my lord, alright, oh my goodness, okay, other than that, other than all the crying and emotion, I, I guess I'd like to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Uh, goodbye.